Welcome to the spoken tutorial on types of fats. In this tutorial, we will learn about the classification of fats, role of fats and their dietary sources. Fats are essential macronutrients. They are also called lipids. Fats from diet are divided into two types, visible and invisible fats. Visible fats are the ones we can see. Oils, butter and ghee are a few examples. Invisible fats are those which we cannot see. These fats are naturally present in the food. Food such as nuts, seeds, eggs, milk, meat and fish. Fats are categorized into two types as per their physical forms solid fats and liquid fats. Ghee, butter and vanaspati are examples of solid fats. Cooking oils like sunflower oil, peanut oil, etc. are examples of liquid fats. Now let us understand what fats are made up of. The building blocks of fats are fatty acids. They consist mainly of simple chains of carbon atoms. They are bonded to one another and to the hydrogen atoms. The fatty acid chain has two ends, a carboxyl end and a methyl end. In our diet, the main source of fatty acids is in the form of triglycerides. Triglycerides are the main storage form of fat in our body. The structure of triglyceride has one glycerol attached to three chains of fatty acids. The fatty acids chains are categorized based on the number of carbons they have. Short chain fatty acids have two to five carbons. Medium chain fatty acids have six to twelve carbons. Long chain fatty acids have thirteen or more carbons. We will learn more about each one of them ahead. Short chain fatty acids are produced by our body. Acetate, propionate and butyrate are some of the short chain fatty acids. These are produced by bacteria in the large intestine. The bacteria in our intestine ferments the indigestible fiber. Fermentation leads to production of short chain fatty acids several fermented foods are enriched with short chain fatty acids for example cheese butter pickles yogurt soy sauce vinegar these fatty acids keep the intestine healthy they reduce the risk of fungal infection in the intestine short chain fatty acids reduce fat content in the liver. They also reduce the risk of cancer and improve insulin function. The levels of these fatty acids increase in the body during the fasting state. It also increases when a person is on a low carbohydrate diet. The other types of fatty acids are medium chain fatty acids. They are called MC Lauric acid and capric acid are examples of medium chain fatty acids. Medium chain fatty acids are naturally present in some foods. For example, coconut oil, human breast milk and dairy products. Due to their shorter chain length, MCTs are rapidly broken down and absorbed. They are efficiently turned into energy and used by the body. MCTs are also useful for people with liver disorders. It has antimicrobial properties. Next, we will learn about long chain fatty acids. Oleic acid, palmitic acid and EPA are some of the examples. Linoleic acid, DHA and stearic acid are also long-chain fatty acids. They are present in 
some foods such as eggs, fish, cocoa, seeds and algae. Palm oil, peanut oil and dairy fat also have these fatty acids. Let us look at further classification of fatty acids depending on the number of bonds. Fatty acids are divided into two types. They are saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. I will now tell you about saturated fatty acids. Saturated fatty acids have only a single bond between two carbon atoms. They are tightly stacked together and compact in structure. As a result, they are mostly solid at room temperature. They do not have any double bonds and are stable at high temperature cooking. They do not undergo chemical changes easily. Thus, the release of harmful chemicals is also low. Coconut oil and palm oil are examples of oils that are rich in saturated fats. Milk and other dairy products also have saturated fats. For example, butter, ghee, cream, cheese. Saturated fats are also present in eggs, meat and poultry. Unsaturated fatty acids have one or more double bonds between the two carbon atoms. Each double bond may be in a cis or trans arrangement. In the cis arrangement, both hydrogens are on the same side of the chain. In the trans arrangement, the hydrogens are on opposite sides of the chain. A cis double bond causes a kink or a bend in the fatty acid chain. This prevents the fatty acids from packing tightly. Hence, they are liquid at room temperature. Depending on the number of double bonds, they are classified into two types mono unsaturated fatty acids and poly unsaturated fatty acids. Mono unsaturated fatty acids are called MUFA and have one double bond. Poly unsaturated fatty acids are called PUFA and have two or more double bonds. More the number of double bonds, the more will be the instability of fat. Lesser the number of double bonds, more stable the fat is at high temperature. By high temperature, we mean temperature above 100 degrees Celsius. Hence, MUFA is better than PUFA for cooking. MUFA is present in olive oil, sesame oil and peanut oil. Cashews, almonds and pistachios also have MUFA. Our body makes most of the fatty acids except PUFAs. They can be obtained only through food. Hence, they are called essential fatty acids. Omega-3 and omega-6 are essential PUFAs. We will now discuss omega-3 fatty acids. These fatty acids have a double bond on the third carbon atom from the methyl end. Omega-3 fatty acids include ALA, EPA and DHA. ALA can be converted to EPA and DHA. But the conversion is very limited. Hence, all the three should be obtained through diet. ALA is present in walnuts, flax seeds, pumpkin seeds and soya. It is also present in algae oil, garden cress seeds and fenugreek seeds. DHA and EPA are synthesized by microalgae. When fish consumes microalgae, they accumulate omega-3 in their tissues. Hence, fish and fish oils are good sources of EPA and DHA. Omega-3 fatty acids have many beneficial roles in our body. They are major components of cell membranes. They are required for fetal growth, brain development, 
and cognitive function. They also help in reducing inflammation. I will now tell you about omega-6 fatty acids. Omega-6 has a double bond on the sixth carbon atom from the methyl end. Omega-6 includes linoleic acid and arachidonic acid. Linoleic acid is present in sunflower seeds, niger seeds and sesame seeds. It is also abundant in seed oils. We also get it from grains and legumes. Even eggs, goat liver and goat brain are also good sources. Linoleic acid can be converted to arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid is found only in animal-derived foods. The main sources are meat, poultry, fish and dairy products. Remember that our body needs a balance between omega-6 and omega-3. Eating too much omega-6 and less omega-3 is harmful. Many studies suggest up to a ratio of 4 is to 1. The ideal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 in the diet should be 1 is to 1. The current consumption pattern shows a ratio up to 25 is to 1 in Western countries, whereas in India and other South Asian countries, the ratio is as high as 45 is to 1. This is because of the increased consumption of processed and fried foods. It is also because of inadequate consumption of omega-3 rich foods. An imbalance of omega-6 and omega-3 increases inflammation in the body. This increases the risk of obesity, heart diseases and cancer. Refined seed oils are rich in omega-6 which damage our gut health. Instead of seed oils, you can use ghee, butter and coconut oil. Cold pressed traditional oils can also be used. For example, peanut oil, sesame seed oil and mustard oil. Apart from saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, we also have trans fatty acids. Trans fatty acids are manufactured fats. They are produced by artificial hydrogenation of vegetable oils. In this process, double bonds in the fatty acid change from cis to trans, due to which liquid oils are turned into solid form. Examples of trans fats are vanaspati and margarine. Trans fats remain solid at room temperature. Many restaurants and fast food outlets use trans fat for cooking. These are added in processed and baked products such as cakes, biscuits, curry. This is done to get the desired taste and texture. They are inexpensive and last a long time. Trans fats are also generated when PUFA rich oils are reused. Once the oil is exposed to frying temperature, they start to break down. Heating them over and over again changes their structure from cis to trans. This converts the PUFA to trans fatty acids. Heating them for a longer time releases toxic aldehydes. Intake of these fats increase the risk of heart diseases, obesity and diabetes. Disorders of vision and nervous system are seen in children. Countries like Denmark, Canada, USA have banned or restricted use of trans fats. Trans fats provide no nutrition to our body and are not essential. It should be completely avoided in our diet. For good health, include foods rich in essential fatty acids.
This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for joining.